Hi, I'm Sandy from Autos School of Shoemaking. In this video, I'll be showing you how I make this purse from African print, all round, made by African print. So you watch it step by step, no step skips at the end. You should have a basic understanding how you can make something like this on your home. Enjoy the video. Here is the fabric I'll be using, the African print. You can get to use any different fabric you like. You can get to use it. This is the fabric I'm using. And this is the material I'm going to use to do the inner. As I want to make the, uh, the house look beautiful, the inner to look beautiful. So this is the material I'm going to use to lap the inner so it can be very neat. When we get to open the pores, it will not look ugly. The, the 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 frame come with a chain and here come with a chain so if you're holding yours you might get the one that comes with the chain and you might not get it so at the point you are not getting the one that comes with the chain you can separately order for chain for the inner of it and we're going to support it with this at cardboard this one I'm going to support it I'm going to be using this too for the inner layer and here is the foam that I'm going to use to pad it up I'm using a fabric that is very light in here and so I need the body to be very puffy whenever there's, there's a grip at it I need it to be very very puffy that is the essence of me putting this having this foam to add to it and at the end I'm going to be using my waxing Candle gum, gum to gum it all together, fix the frame together. Um, I'll also be using a chloroprene gum too to put the fabrics together too. So I'm using two forms of gum to make this project works. And the tools I'm going to use, okay, I'm going to use my gum or wax gum to apply gum, and I'm going to be using. A scissors. Here is a piece of scissors I'll be using. I'll be using these scissors too. Scissors too. That's just the few tools I'm going to be using. And as time goes on, if eventually I have a cost to use under scissors, under tools, I'm going to explain the reason why I'm going to use the tools for you. So let's get on and see how this is going to be made. First, now what I'm going to do now is come over. So welcome in here now to do this. I come here. I take this. The first thing I get to do is I come over. I'll be cutting a straight line based on the measurement on the width of your frame. So this, I'm making this based on the frame I have with me. Call it a straight line here. Okay. After getting the straight line, I come over here. I drop this this way. Drop it this way. Okay. I'm going to cover it around. So I drop it this way and I disconnect it like this. On this to go in it. So I could pick something here to. Let it go in. Cut it. If you have a fabric that has pattern on it, please watch the pattern very well. I know the part at which you need to, you will be applying the direction at which you'll be doing it. So, here is enough for me. This part, this is enough for me. So I'm going to cut two of these out. So now I've gotten this. So coming to this now, after we've applied gum on it, it has dried a bit. I can come here again, apply a fresh one on it again. The reason is that I want the gum on the surface to be very thick. Very, very thick. Okay, it's thick now. So, wait for some minutes so for it to dry. While it's dry, I then pick my foam to come around it again. Let me 
can then come here in here right now. Turn it upside down. Drop this on it. This way. You can see it's thick. I come over here. Make sure this go round it. This is going around it. This is going around it. Round it with ease. Okay, so we have this out. This is going around it. This is going around it. Around it. See sticks. Yes, this, this these are sticks too. These are stick too. This is benefit of I don't need to apply the gum twice in here. It has sticks like this. So now after doing that I can come here to cut this out. I trim it out. Okay, after I get the trim it out, this is what I get. So here is balanced. I have this now. My frame is set. Look at it now. My frame is set this way. So I'm done with the form. For now, I use this to cut it out. I use this now. I pick a pen. Why I wait for this to dry up, I come in here, I drop this this way, I want to cover this up, I come in here and I take my gum and I apply through, not to the body, but the inner of the frame, around it, and I do the same thing to this. Apply the same thing, go around this now. After I wait for a while for it to dry, which I'm going to cover it up right now. While I wait for this to dry up, I then come in here, back to the frame we call out here, and I drop this like this. I drop this on it this way. I drop this this way. Stop it here. Have to stop it there. Chain that was ordered with it. We then come in here and then when I'm done, put the chain. Okay, the chain this way. Okay, this way. Okay, so that is a the same set, and then come in here, go down and do the same thing that was on here to this. This way. So I've gotten the measurement out. So what I need to do now is I need to come back to my. Okay, I then cover it this way. I need to then come back to my. Inner layer here. I pick the inner layer hole back this way. I'll just apply gum around this way. My target is not the surface. Do the edges round. Put it this way. So I pick this, I raise this in it. Resting this on it, I come here, I drop it in. Okay, with this now, the hina, look at it, the hina is covered. The hina is now covered even before I get gummy. Wow. There is much better. Track 
we do this here. You come over here. You come over. You come over here. Okay, fixed. I come in here. So come in here. I get this done. Now. Put it. Look at it. Both sides close in here. I eventually close it here. Don't mind how it. Look at it. It's been closed here. It's been closed here. I then come over to trim all the edges around. We trim all this for it to lap very well. Come over to trim it right now. Make sure the wax. Go round. Okay. At the time is still hot. Then come and drop this on it. Drop it. And fix that same wax. Yeah. And then come in here. Do this. Okay, I can use this for just this part of it first. Okay, I get to fix this. Yeah, it has been fixed. Okay. Glued. So I have this now. Look at it. No, no rough part showing off. Clipped, you can see. It's clipped right now. Look at it around. I can come in here, drop this inside it, and I have this this way. And I will come, open it up, and I have the chain around it. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you'll be able to try this on your own. It's quite easy if, as far as you can lay your hands on the frame. This is very, very easy to fix. A quick cap of how we get this um, cut a frame pattern for the frame. I cut the frame out. I gum the frame with foam and then line the inner hop. Remember that we cut the pattern for the henna too. We brace the sides. And we eventually cement everything together. We fix our chain and our post is set. So here is it. This is just it. It's quite easy to fix. Try it at home. I'm so sure you're going to get something cool. This is another sample of it that I also fix in here. This is another one of it. Look at it. This comes, the instead of covering it around like this, I did not cover, get to cover this, so this is opened. This is another one that we can get to, it can come in different shape. Thank you for watching to this time. As you can see, you can do different design of this. Try this on your own. Please, there is a summer class we're going to have at the workshop, which is going to run from August and September. We'd like you to be part of that. To be part of that, there's a link on this description button below. Go through the link. Go to this link is going to show you where to sign up to register for it. And if you're registering by this link, there's a 20% discount for you. So what are you waiting for? Go down and click the link and sign up right now. Bye-bye. Till next time.